The Nigerian Senate has resolved to probe alleged unwholesome practices by the Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board, JAM. The upper legislative chamber says the move is to curtail the practice of undisclosed admissions and other unwholesome practices by the board and universities, particularly the University of Nigeria and Suka, UNN. These resolutions were reached at Wednesday's plenary after a debate on a motion by Senator representing Ebonyi North, Peter Mwaibonyi. After the debate, the leadership of the Senate declined adopting any of the prayers recommended by the uh, committee, instead referred the matter to the Committees on Public Petitions and Tertiary Institutions for further legislative actions. Worried that the provisional admission practice is being used as a malicious tool to exploit and frustrate intelligent young Nigerians who are children and wards of ordinary Nigerians. Now the best thing would have been that this motion will be um, sent to either the Committee on Higher Education or the Committee on Public Petitions so that all the different institutions mentioned in this uh, motion will be invited because fair hearing. Let us invite officials of the University of Nigeria and Soka and JAM to look at the veracity of this claim that 290 students were left wandering about in the university campus after staying for maybe one year or two years. I have had stories of people staying in the university for four years without even graduating with a degree. Urge the federal government, urge the federal government to immortalize him by naming a high institution after him. Specifically, Federal College of Education, Okene. Those in support of this prayer say aye. aye. Those again say no. The eyes are beautiful. Both committees are expected to invite the official of JAM, UNN, and the Minister of Education, Professor Tahir Maman, in the course of the probe to explain the circumstances surrounding the undisclosed admission phenomenon and report back in two weeks. In another development, the Senate has asked the federal government to immortalize the late Ohinoi of Ibira land, Dr. Abdul Rahman Ado Ibrahim. Ibrahim, a former vice president of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, died on October 29 in an Abuja hospital where he had been receiving treatment for age-related ailment and he has since been buried. Senators, in their contribution to Ujula, Ujula, eulogized the late monarch and approved the prayers of the motion which were put to a voice vote by Senate President Godswill Akwabio. And the Senate regrets that his demise is a great loss to his family, the Ibira clan, Kogi State in particular, and Nigeria in general. The Senate accordingly resolves to observe a minute silence in his honor, send a condolence letter to commiserate with the family, the good people of Ibira land, and urge the federal government to immortalize him by naming the Federal College of Education after him. JAM has his own reputation. So, and so the uh, discussing and particularizing it uh, could tend to give the international community that something is questionable yes. about the certificates from University of Nigeria, yes. which we all respect. It has given birth to so many universities, including the one I went to, which was the University of Calabar. So I, I think the, 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 the Latin phraseology applies here, which is uh, autumn pattern. Let the other side be heard. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.